Hi everyone, myself Dr. Vinod. Today I will discuss about the new antiviral Molnupiravir based on its phase 3 interim results against COVID-19. Merck Pharma expects FDA to approve the drug in coming months. Why there is so much hype about Molnupiravir? Because this is the first orally available antiviral against COVID-19. How does it prevent against coronavirus? Let me explain in this video. First, I will discuss about the interim phase 3 results of Molnupiravir. The study included 775 unvaccinated people who were confirmed RT-PCR positive for COVID-19 and the tablets were started within 5 days after confirmation. The people in study population had mild or moderate symptoms of COVID-19 with one of the following risk factor which includes age more than 60 years, obesity, diabetes mellitus, or heart problems. The study concluded that in the study population, Molnupiravir have significantly reduced the duration of hospital stay as well as the percentage of death in the study population. The study included the patients affected by different variants of coronavirus including Delta, Gamma and Mu variants. Molnupiravir have shown significant positive result against all the variants. How does Molnupiravir acts against coronavirus? Molnupiravir mimics the building blocks of genetic material in coronavirus which is a RNA. So this faulty Molnupiravir gets attached to the RNA and create multiple mutations and makes coronavirus ineffective and causes its death. Let me explain in a simple way. You might have seen the robot 2.0 superstar Rajnikan's movie. There, there will be a robot called Kuti 3.0. It can transform into cell phones. So, during climax scene, this Kuti 3.0 gets transformed into cell phone and gets attached to the villains which is made up of the, the Pakshi Rajan made up of multiple cell phones. So, on giving a signal, this uh, Kuti 3.0 will blast and destroy the villain which will be a giant eagle made up of multiple mobile phones. In the same way, this Molnu Piravir gets attached to the uh, RNA genetic material of the coronavirus and destroys them. Molnupiravir is not the first drug to target the genetic material of coronavirus because one more drug can also do the same. This drug was quite famous in the second wave of COVID-19 which is Remdesivir. Now everyone might have a doubt. Sir, WHO has announced that Remdesivir is not effective and they have even removed the Remdesivir from the COVID-19 protocol. Then how does a new drug which acts in a similar way can protect against coronavirus? The answer is Remdesivir acts only at the polymerase growing stand of genetic material in coronavirus. On the other hand, Molnupiravir acts at multiple level and it also inhibits the structural protein synthesis in coronavirus. So it is very much effective than Remdesivir and there is very less chance of developing antiviral resistance. For better understanding, assume this example, there is a fast moving car in a road, suddenly there is an yellow signal. So some people will uh, increase the speed and they will cross the signal. What others will do? They will stop. That's how Remdesivir acts. It is effective for some people and it was not effective for other people. That's why WHO exempted this drug only for research purposes. But what Molnupiravir does is, assume the same fast moving car in a road, suddenly there are 10 to 15 multiple deep potholes. So what the maximum number of the drivers will do? They will immediately slow down the car. That's what Molnupiravir does. It will be helpful for many people also. Final phase 3 results are still pending for Molnupiravir. Once released, FDA may approve the drug as early as possible on an emergency basis. Scientists believe that once FDA approve the drug, this Molnupiravir can reduce the duration of hospital stay and the percentage of death by at least 15 percentage in the coming corona wave. If you like this video, do like and share and subscribe to Dr. Vinod's Medi360 channel for future videos. Thank you.